Hello, my name is LiveDrive and welcome to the Bolt for Unity tutorial for the user interface. Today we'll be discussing some of the different elements of Canvas and how they are made in Bolt. So let's start with the exit button. It's pretty simple really. On button click changes the set position by just a couple of pixels to make it appear that it's moving. It plays audio clip and it has a cooldown. Then you call application quit. This is probably the simplest one. Let's talk about the settings button. So it's the same idea, except for there's one change. We're gonna call load scene. But before we call load scene, we need to check if the settings menu is loaded or not. If it isn't, we call load scene. Let's go to the settings menu, which has now appeared. And we'll just go through all the buttons. So the resume button is very easy. It's just gonna unload the settings menu, which is loaded additively. The options button, is going to unload settings and load options. See how they replace each other in the hierarchy. Let's talk about the volume slider. It's actually pretty important that you make an application variable of volume that is set from the get value of the slider. Then you just plug it straight into the set volume of the audio listener, but make sure to clamp it between zero and one. And then in order to have it maintain the slider's position between scene changes, you need to have it say start set value of the volume. The return to main menu button is the same across all scenes and it simply loads the main menu as a single. Now let's talk last but not least about inventory. Inventory button unloads the settings menu and loads the inventory menu. The inventory menu contains a scroll view which contains a viewport, which contains some content, about 50 item panels. The way that I set this up was by using a scroll rect in the vertical, and you can take a closer look at these settings if you need to. Then on the viewport, I have a mask script. I think it was added automatically. And then in the content, I had to add these myself, a grid layout group and a content size fitter. I put the vertical fit to preferred size, and I put the constraint to fixed column count of five. This gives us five columns, and when we scroll through, it looks like this. Now, there's one last thing we need to talk about, and it's this back button. In order for the back button to work in all scenes, you simply need to call a sequence, checking the scene's name, and whether or not it's loaded. If it is, you get the name and set it to the current scene. Then you just have it unload the current scene and load the settings menu again. Voila! This completes the tutorial of the Bolt for Unity user interface. Thank you for watching. My name is AliveDrive. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.